If you want to create 100% human-like content that passes AI detection every single time and unlocks AdSense for an AI website, then this video is for you. I have a prompt that will show you exactly how to do this. It works amazingly with ChatGPT4 and it will rank on Google, but it will also help you get accepted onto Google AdSense. So if you do not know, ChatGPT4 is now live. All you have to do is have a pro account or a plus account and you just click here and press GPT4. This is now, you now have access to literally the best AI writer in the game. Now, before we get started, let me just explain a couple of things. Number one, I personally do not care about AI generated content. The reason is the company that I work for is not monetized by AdSense. Instead, it's monetized by selling products, okay? So I'm not making this video for me. I'm making this video for you guys so that you can understand how to get a website accepted to AdSense. So you can see here, we actually sell these products. These are our physical products, they're in the store. So I don't need to do what I'm showing you in this video. However, I do use this prompt anyway, not to help me pass AI detection, just because it's so damn powerful. AdSense is known for not accepting AI content, okay? So sometimes, not always, people will be denied monetization through Google AdSense. And a lot of people have been telling me this in the comments. I do read the comments, I'm completely transparent and that's why I'm making this video. So how can you tell if something is AI generated? Right now, the best way is to use content at scale and it has an, uh, it has an AI content detector, okay? This is currently the best AI content detector that I can find, okay? And firstly, what we're going to do is we're, I'm just going to say, write me a blog post. Okay. We're using chat G, uh, chat GPT three, uh, best suits for me. And this is going to give me some basic crap that we're then going to put into the AI content, um, detector to see whether or not this, uh, content is picked up as being AI generated content, which the likelihood is it will be picked up as AI generated content because chat GPT three just isn't really that good. So let's have a little look and let's see what it thinks. So 41%. So it's likely to be AI generated. Okay. So this is best suits for men. The layout of the article is actually not bad. And honestly, I reckon we could rank this article. Okay. So but it's not a question about whether it will rank, it's about getting accepted on to AdSense, okay? And there's a big difference between ranking on Google and being accepted into AdSense, okay? But I have an incredible prompt for you guys. It is the prompt that I was using in the video yesterday that was a silent video. I got a lot of flame for that video, but I really, really wanted to um, have that video live, okay? to show people how I create 10 articles per hour. So you can, with this prompt, you can create 10 articles per hour. Thank you to my past self for putting the prompt into this Google document while at work so that I could make this video. The prompt is here, okay? And it works, let's put it into ChatGPT4, ChatGPT4, and let's talk a little bit about how this actually works. But firstly, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the article. Okay, so the article is the thing here. So you need to change this. So I'm going to put X for you guys. But for now, I'll put the article is best suits for men. So there's no difference between the prompt that I used before, basically for chat GPT 3.5. And this one here, it's the same article. Okay, let's read a little bit about the prompt. Let's write a blog post that will rank on Google. I want you to try to try to include keywords. That's not really necessary. You should use markdown formatting, including bold, UL, OL, which means unordered list, ordered list, write with a degree of creativity, burstiness, and human-like, okay? This I did get from another video. Um, I don't know if it's even necessary because ChatGPT4 seems to write unique content anyway. There's no harm in including it. Include already anchored hyperlinks using keywords and links. The article is best suits for men. 
This is the most important part of my process, guys. You can write about the following brands. Kiton. I'm going to delete the rest of this here, okay? And I'm going to change it to just Kiton, Cesare, Attolini, uh, Boss, and Sartorio Napoli. These are currently the four brands that we sell online. But what I recommend you do is when you found a topic, you need to find a way to make it unique to you specifically. The way that I like to do that is I like to give the brands that I wanted to write about. So I wanted to talk about Kiton for their suit. Well, in this case, I don't have to tell it f for their suits because the article is already best suits for men. I'm going to add one word, best suit brands for men. The reason I'm adding the word brands is because I don't want it to start talking about random types of suits, okay, like striped suits, etc., etc. So Cesare Attolini, Boss, Sartorio, Napoli, use these links as internal links formatted in Markdown. Use a maximum of six internal links. It doesn't stick to the final part, but that's fine. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to hit enter, and we're going to see how much better the content is in uh, chat GPT-4 with this prompt compared to the one at the beginning, which was very clearly stated to be AI-generated content. So the prompt itself, I'm going to put that in a Google document for everyone to have access to. So it's now in this Google document. And all you need to do is change. Let's, let's put everything that you guys need to change. So you need to change this to um, your focus keyword. So what I recommend you do is you watch the video that I released, I think, two days ago. Let's just go on my YouTube real quick. Okay, this video here, trending SEO keyword secret pros don't want you to share. I will leave this in the description um, slash in the, watch this video. Why is it hyperlink? <laughs> I've got no idea. Why is that hyperlink? That's really weird. Okay, nice. So watch the video at the top. This is how you find your focus keyword. Once you have your focus keyword, I want you to put it in where it says your focus keyword in bold, okay? Then, depending on the focus keyword and depending on whether you're selling brands or selling your own brands or whatever, you can write about the following and then I'm going to write things, okay? So what you want to do where it says things is, I'll leave mine as an example, okay? So this... Okay, so I'll leave this as example things. So all you need to do is think about how you can make ChatGPT write about what you specifically want ChatGPT to write about. And you put that where it says things. You can write about the following things, whether that might be material, surgical practices. I've got no idea, okay? Whatever you're writing about, and this is one of the hard things about making videos in this niche, whatever you're writing about, you need to put it into here. Then for your links, I've shown this many, many times, but what I personally like to do is I like to just go to my site map, which is here, and I like to collect all of my links or all the important links, and I put them at the bottom. Don't put too many, maybe put 50. I think I've got too many, to be honest with you. And it kind of struggles to find the perfect balance between how much content to write and ensuring that all of the internal links are in the article. So it should be about done. Um, it is having a lot of problems right now with completing articles for me in, in one shot, but it seems like it's actually done it this time because it was a bit of a shorter article. Let us see what this tool, this is a live test, okay, so I could look really stupid right now. I hope I don't look really stupid. I don't like looking really stupid. Come on. Human content score zero. I oh, know it's predicting. Human content score 90. Highly likely to be human, okay? So you can see that there is a huge, huge difference between before and after, okay? It's a very simple process. All I did was I used ChatGPT4 with a much more in-depth prompt. I gave all of the information that I wanted it to write about, so the brands I wanted it to write about. I also, when I wrote a similar article today, 
I did something really interesting, which was after it wrote the article, I said, can you add five um, four season suits and talk about virgin wool suits? So what I did today was after it wrote the article, I said, add another section, okay? And I said, write about four season virgin wool suits and it did exactly that, okay? So this is a way just to make the content a little bit longer and I believe it was this article, so yeah, here we go. So what I did today, this is a really good example. Summer wedding outfits for men. This has 6,000 searches a month at the moment. In a few months, this will have 50,000 searches a month in the United States. If I can get this keyword anywhere close to the top, I will be rocking. So I wrote about Kiton, Santoni, Tramarosa, Sartorio Napoli, Premiata, Boss, Cesare Attolini. And then at the end, I said, oh, can you actually just mention four season suit fabrics, virgin wool, etc." And I said, please mention kit on suits. And it did all of that. It continued to use the list of links that I gave it before. I didn't have to prompt it again. So a really good way to add a little bit more content at the end of an article is to say, oh, can you just talk about this one more topic that you didn't talk about? Um, and please internally link this topic into that, okay? That has given us another... I don't know how many hundreds of words. Let's have a quick look. Uh, it should be a lot more content now. And let's just see what it says now about the... It's even higher, okay? So there's more text, 571 words instead of 292. It's more human written, which means it's much more likely to get accepted into AdSense. And the content itself is better, which means it will rank higher on Google. This is, without a doubt, the best way to make content right now using ChatGPT. Unfortunately, it's a little bit slow. There are some bugs right now, um, but they will be ironed out. And very soon, you'll be able to do a one-shot blog post in five minutes with all your internal links already in there. You've already got my flow, guys. Get to making good content. Get accepted to AdSense, and I'll see you soon with some more content. Peace out.